Hey Jackals, today we will take a look how to spice up your life and videos inside DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. For this effect you will need a video clip, ideally with a glass or a wall and some text. Now you can use this text as an image or you can use a text. In the effects type in text. You can then simply extend it to as long as you want it to be. Type something in, open the inspector. You can then position the text as you want and you can also adjust the image if you use an image similarly as what the text has. As you might know, if you want to split the text up, you can do so in the text node or in the text title, but if you have an image, you don't have that option. So in that case, the text has an advantage. You can also color the text differently if that is something that you want, in this case we don't want that, then what we want to do, type in transform and go to open effects and we'll apply this to the text. But as you can see, this is a no go. You can do this with an image, but for the text you have to use a compound clip. So right click and make a compound clip and now we'll be able to apply the transform to this clip. Now with the effect applied, we can go to the effects and make some adjustments. But before we do, we'll change the control mode from sliders to canvas or pins. In this case, I'll just choose canvas. We don't see any difference and that's because we have to enable open effects overlay. We can adjust each individual corner to follow the horizontal lines now we don't have any at the top, but we can imagine that maybe they go something like this. Now if I just show you the pins, the pins look like this. You can click each individual corner and this basically makes a swipe animation like on a phone. It's not as intuitive as the canvas is for me. Now with that done, you will go back to the video and you can make all other adjustments if you want and you can also animate this. So you would go to animation, keyframe the canvas keyframes and then you can simply change this and it's something similar to what the polygons do inside the fusion page. Now you can leave the text as is but if you want to blend it in a little bit go to the video and change the composite mode to overlay, soft light or anything else that looks good to you and this will depend on the scene that you have. And to get rid of this overlay simply click here to disable it and now you can simply preview this how it would look like. Maybe you want to change the font, we can absolutely do that. Simply click on the compound clip, right click, open in timeline. You can make any adjustments that you want. So we can change the font because this is a text. We can change fonts individually. We can basically change everything and then to go back simply double click on the timeline one and we have the changes applied. Which is also not something that you can do with an image. And that's it. Did you find the video helpful? If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to get the venture resolve and video editing content twice a week and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.